Good morning, class. Everybody stand up and let us have our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we offer to you our class today. Thank you for your protection and love. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Guide us as we discover more about the world around us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good day, students. I know you are excited to learn new things today. I am Glendier Suzanne P. Gamos, your MAPE teacher. Physical education makes every child stronger and every life longer. Before you take your seats, please pick up some litters around you and arrange your chairs in a straight line. Very well, you may now take your seats. Now let us check your attendance. Attendance checker, is anyone absent for today? Complete attendance! Wow, very good! I know that you are eager to learn as much as I do. Now, let us start our short activity. Are you familiar with the following dances? Now, take a look at the pictures and tell me, what are these? Philippine folk dances. Let's start with the first picture. Anyone? Yes, Andrew. Tinikling, that's correct. How about the second picture? Yes, Michael. Okay, Maglalatik, very good. The third picture? Yes, April. Okay, Binasuan. Good job. And the last picture. Yes. John? Okay. It's Itik Itik. All right. Good job, everyone. Okay, so our lesson for today is the Philippine folk dances. Alright, so before we dive into our discussion, everybody, please read the objectives. Objectives. Identify Philippine folk, folk dances, dances, execute, execute basic, basic folk dance, folk recognize, dance, the, recognize the, importance the importance of folk dances. Okay, let's start with our Philippine folk dance, Tinik Ling. It is originated in Leyte. The dance involves two people beating, tapping, and sliding bamboo poles on the ground and against each other in coordination with one or more dances who step over and in between the poles to dance. The name Tinikling is a reference to birds locally known as tikling. Let's take a look at the tikling dance video. <laughs>
was originated in Surigao del Sur. It was discovered in this town by national artist for dance Francisca Reyes Aquino, originating from a dance called Sibai and performed to the tune of Dejado. The story was told that an expert young dancer named Cayetana at a barrio of Cantilan during a baptismal party that she began to improvise short choppy steps similar to ducks and then splash water on their backs. Okay, now let's take a look at an itik itik dance video. Maglalatik and it is originated in Binyan, Laguna, also known as Manlalatik or Magbabao. It is danced using coconut shells, halves, and are secured onto the dancer's hands and on vests, upon which are hung four to six or more coconut shell halves. The dancers perform the dance by hitting one coconut shell with another. And sometimes the ones on the hands, the ones on the body, or the shells worn by another performer. All in time to a fast drum beat. Now, let's take a look at my Lalatik dance video.
folk dance that we are going to talk about is Binasuan. It is a tribal dance in the Philippines that is originated in Pangasinan. This dance is a dance where a performer holds full wine glass in each hand while performing balancing tricks. Wine may be used to fill with the other glasses but or other liquids may be substituted and the arms are rotated over and under the shoulder in order to keep the palms facing up so as not to spill the liquid while nevertheless allowing the rages to cross over the una via pronation. Minasuan is a very popular festive dance event such as weddings. Now, let's take a look at a Biasuan Festival dance video. execute the basic steps in folk dance everybody stand up and observe and follow the basic steps in folk dance
Okay, well done everyone for following the basic steps in folk dance. Now let's have our activity. I will be grouping you into five groups. And each group will perform the basic steps in folk dance using this music. Okay, everybody will use the same music. And in your performance, you should be able to use all of the basic folk dances. Okay, you may arrange the basic steps in a different order. Okay, as long as you can perform all of the basic steps and follow the beat of the music. All right, now how will I grade you? I will grade you using the rubrics. Okay, formation 10 points. Sequence of steps, 10 points. The beat, 10 points. The style, 10 points. And work ethic is 10 points with a total of 50 points. Okay, I will be giving you 20 minutes to practice together with your group. And afterwards, I will call each group to perform. Okay? Alright. Are the instructions clear? Okay. Show me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay. Let's start. Timer starts now. Time's up, everyone. Okay, let's start with group number one. Please go to the front. Okay, good job group one. Now next is group two. Alright, very good group two. Next is group three. Okay, well done group three. Now group four. All right, nice one, group four. And lastly, group five. Okay, nice job, group five. All right, now let us give ourselves a round of applause for an excellent performance today. Okay, now. What can you say about our activity? Yes, Max. Yes, that is true. Okay, it is very important for us Filipinos to know the folk dances. Even though there are so many famous and trending dances nowadays, especially on TikTok, but let us keep in mind and heart our Philippine folk dances. Okay? Now, what are your realizations? Yes, Sam. Yes, Sam. That is true. The Philippine folk dances are part of our history and culture and it should not be forgotten. It should be passed on from generation to generations. Okay, now for your assignment, please do a research and read about festival dances. All right, let's have our closing prayer. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for all the knowledge we learned this day. May they help us to become your worthy children, to glorify you, to serve our country and all people honestly, and to honor our parents who dream a good future for us. Oh my Jesus, 
guide us, and protect us from evil after we leave this room. Amen. Folk dances are the true reflection of daily life in the past centuries. Goodbye and thank you class!